I'm here. Be right back. Right. Yeah. Mr. Brewer is here. Just a moment. Here. I'm here. All right, Mr. Uh, Brewer, there was a motion for default brought, uh, and there was no response to it. Did you receive that that motion? Are you asking me? Um, yes, Mr. Motion Brewer. for the dissolution. Yeah, I was. Um, I actually was in Callis County Jail when I got that. Okay. Um, have you looked over the paperwork that Ms. Brewer has presented? Yeah, I, I, I looked over it. Um, I was trying to figure out what this dissolution with children meant. Um, I don't know what that means, like like divorce with uh, my kid or like um, she's trying to take custody of my child, full custody. I'm not sure. Uh, I know she was supposed to contact me, but. Well, you have for, well, he was supposed to, to she was supposed to contact me for him. Is that right? I'm sorry. You have a child who's tightened. Yes, correct. And in the parenting plan, Ms. Brewer is asking that you have no contact with Titan. Are you aware of that? Yes, I, I see that. that I mean, I don't know why. I mean, my son ain't, I haven't seen my son. Well, let me ask you this. Do you, so you oppose that parenting plan? Is that right? Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, no, yeah. I want to see my son. Okay. So, the court needs you to file a written response, which you haven't done. And, and basically, Ms. Brewer is asking for a default judgment. Um, but since you're here today, I typically give a little more time. But I'm going to need a written response from you as to uh, what your position is. Um, okay. So let me, let me just stop. Let me go to Ms. Brewer and let her... Um, address the court. Ms. Burr, go ahead. Um, I don't have a problem with visitation as long as it is supervised. Um, the last visitation that he had with Titan was very disturbing. Um, he was drinking and driving and Titan was asking him why he was drinking and driving. Then went to daycare and school and told them all that he has seen his dad and he was drinking and driving so it's just disturbing the things that are happening and then when like when i try to reach him to talk to titan titan's to the point now where he's like i don't even want to talk because we call he doesn't answer and then i have to help him get get his whole mood right it takes him a whole day to get back to regular from being so sad that his dad doesn't have time to talk to him, doesn't answer, it's it's heartbreaking. So every time he does communicate with his dad, there's something very disturbing. Are you, uh, do both of you talk at all? Are you able to communicate? Okay. No. Okay. And if I do try to contact, there's a violation of a restraint order. All right. And then I'll go to jail. So we'll do it. We'll do it through the court then. So if I did try to go contact my son, there's, no, there's nothing I can do. My hands are tight, Your Honor. Have you and, uh, seen the proposed parenting plan, Mr. Brewer? You said what? Say that one more time. Mr. Brewer, I'm going to tell you a number of documents that, that you need to look at, okay? Um. There's one called findings and conclusions about marriage. There's an order of disillusion. There's a parenting plan. And there's a child support order. You're gonna need to look at each of those and respond to each of those, 
okay, I'm going to put this over two weeks. And if I don't have a response in two weeks, a written response, then I'm going to enter the default and enter the orders as they're presented by Ms. Brewer. Um, I'm giving you two weeks to do that. Okay. If you can need I, um, a copy of those I'm documents, a, you can come to the office and they'll provide it to you. Okay. I'm a, can I write that? I'm going to write that down real quick. Yeah. I, I want to give you time to do that. So do you want me to go through those documents again? Yes, please. Okay. So there's uh, what's called findings and conclusions about marriage, an order of disillusion, a parenting plan, and a child support order. Finding and conclusions. Is that findings and conclusions, right, correct? Right, and then an order. Conclusions. Order. A order. parenting plan. Order, parenting plan. And a child support order. Um, Ms. Brewer, do you know Mr. Brewer's current address? I do not. All right, I don't want you to tell me over the phone or over the Zoom. Um, these documents are with the clerk's office. So again, Mr. Brewer, you can come to the court and ask for these documents or come to the clerk's office. Um, I'm gonna put this over to February 22nd. I need written responses to all of this. If it's not filed by that time, as I indicated, I will enter a default and enter these orders, okay? What, uh, excuse me, your honor. Um, but till then, can I, can I still want to talk to my son before this? I, can you, can I, can you st still make Has her done any contact thus far? I haven't talked to him, but like once or twice since after your, the, you, you ordered that, that she was supposed to let it be talked to him two times a week. She just stopped. So she just stopped trying to contact me months ago. I haven't talked to my son at all. All right, just a moment here. I just don't understand. I don't understand how with a no contact or the, like, I don't know. I don't want it to come back on me. I just went to jail for a violation for something that happened a, couple, a year ago. And just, I don't, it's just too much. I'm looking for an order that I may have entered. So that order is, is still going to stand. Um, and then visitation will be de determined by family law court. Um, if there is a response to the documents that have been filed, then this court will make some determinations about visitation going forward. Uh, but for now, um, based on the order of protection that allowed the video visits will, um, I'll agree to that. All right, so we'll be back here on uh, February 22nd. And uh, Mr. Brewer, make sure you respond to, to
to these documents. Okay. Major Terrell and Elianic. All right. The character. Good morning, Your Honor. Morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Um, I know I wasn't here last time you were um, in court. I think Judge Evans was here then. Let me go to your file. Mr. Pedro Terrell, I did read your uh, declaration uh, that was filed shortly after the last order. Uh, so I want you to know I read that. Yes, sir. Um, let me hear from Mr. Pedro Terrell first. Um, have you, let's say this year, January and up to now, have you had any supervised visits with Colton? No, Your Honor. I haven't been able to make it out there, but I have done video visits with Colton since then. So you've had video visits. How yes, often do those occur? Um, I was occurring on Saturday and Sunday, and then I know Miss Character has informed me of her schedule update, and try I'm trying to work around Friday and Saturday. Uh, unfortunately, I work Friday from 5 a.m. to about 4 to 5 in the afternoon, so there's times I won't be able to make a video visit, and then... Uh, I missed one Saturday because I was trying to catch up on sleep because my sleep uh, my sleep schedule is very limited throughout the week. And uh, I wanted to inform the courts on the situation with the anger eval. I've tried getting a hold of Twyla Corey's uh, recommendations that uh, she gave with Judge Evans last court hearing. And I was able to contact both of them. And I got the same response that I am not a resident of Washington State. And unfortunately, they cannot do an anger evaluation for me. But I've went ahead and applied for the Portland Police Bureau to do a psych psychological evaluation on top of an anger evaluation. And I've passed everything. And I'm in, I'm in the process of going into the academy i just don't know how long it'll take for me to get over get those documents and get get it over to you your honor when you say going into the academy tell me what that is uh it's a training process it's about six months it's six okay. kind of like Please. being in the army doing basic training it's just the Police force version of basic training, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Ms. Carricker, why don't I hear from you? How have the video visits been going? And let me know if there's any other concerns you have. Um, Your Honor, I do have some concerns. Um, Tristan says he's done his video visits. He's done one video visit since last court. Um, I have no problem turning um, that into the courthouse. Um, I did let him know I didn't hear from him for a very long time, for a couple months. And then I heard from him and he wanted to video chat Colton. And that was fine to me because I wasn't at work at that time. Um, but I've only heard from him a couple times since last court date. And you know, it's unfair for Colton because he wants to see his dad and he wants to talk to his dad, but his dad's not around. Um, I understand Tristan's got a lot going on. He's joining whatever, he's going to the police thing, but I've tried working with him. I, when he did get in contact with me, I told him about my schedule and the fact that my boss is out of town, so it can't be changed right now. Um, he told me to stick with the parenting plan. I told him I I simply cannot, like my schedule is set because I didn't hear from Tristan for a while. And I figured, you know, it's okay until next court day and I'll try to figure it out from there. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say. 
Okay, thank you. Ms. Corey? I really don't have any current knowledge um, other than um, I did receive a couple of kind of random emails from Mr. Pedro Terrell around Christmas time. Um, that I believe were uh, just copied to me and, and to Elena regarding sending a, a Christmas gift to Colton. Um, I, I, I see a, a real pattern of failure to follow through with anything that the um, court has asked of him um, for dozens of different reasons. Um, and for Colton's sake, I would like to see this get to a point where it is more settled so that he can be on some sort of um, consistent schedule and know what to expect. Um, and I believe that's only fair for Ms. Carricker as well as she tries to parent three young boys and, and balance that with work. All right. Mr. Pedro, let me address you for a bit. Uh, first of all, whatever documents you feel are relevant um, about your evaluation um, for the training for the police department, provide those to Ms. Corey. Yes, sir. I am not agreeing at this point that they take the place of an anger management evaluation. Right, but I'm, I'm willing to let Ms. Corey look at it and, and advise me regarding that. Okay. Uh, I've tried every, every route with um, anyone who specializes in anger evaluation uh, here in Oregon and they don't accommodate for family law. And that thing that I'm struggling on is they only do it for criminal kids where they can allow an anger evaluation. And then I've tried going through Vancouver. I've tried all the way up to Seattle and I have to be a resident of Washington state to get, go through an anger evaluation through them. And so I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and I don't know how to continue about it, Your Honor. I've tried multiple suggestions that was brought uh, brought forth from the GAL and they've they've told me that I can't go through them. So I don't I don't know what to do, Your Honor. I'm not an angry person. I just want to be a father to my son. I want to be able to see my son. I want to be able to enjoy time with him. And I feel like that barrier is being blocked with anger evaluation, anger evaluation, Your Honor. Okay. So, I, again, I if you can provide the documents that you're referring to to get into the police academy to Ms. Corey, then we'll discuss what effect that has on the order that you get an anger evaluation. Yes, sir. Okay. Secondly, I need to see some consistency in your contacting Colton. So yes. I wanna, with, with Ms. Carricker right now, I wanna pick a time during the week when you both will commit to doing a video visit. So yes, let me sir. start with Mr. Uh Pedro. Carol, what, what date and time during the week works best for you? I, I wake up at 4 a.m. I go to work at 5. I get off a uh, rough estimate of 4 to 5 because of security uh, for downtown Portland. So I'm not sh uh, It can vary depending on the day and situations that happen. But Do you work seven days a week? Uh, five days a week. I have Saturday and Sunday off. Guaranteed. All right. Let's pick a Saturday or Sunday time. Um, I can do at noon, noon, or if if she works at that time at noon, I can accommodate and take it down okay. to 
10 a.m. So you're saying Saturday is somewhere between 10 and noon? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Carricker, are you working during that time? I work on Saturdays from 11 to 9. So if there's any way, maybe we could do Sunday since she's off Sunday. I don't work Sundays. Can we do Sunday at 10? Mr. Pedro Jerome? Yes, Your Honor. We can do that. Okay. Does that interfere with uh, going to church or anything like that? No, Your Honor. All right. I, I go uh, around 3 to 4 p.m. Uh, right. to service. All right. We're going to uh, then schedule video visits for Sundays starting this Sunday at 10 a.m. Yes, Your Honor. I want you to draw a big red circle around that time because no matter what's going on in your life, that has to work. Okay. Yes, and I want to be back here on March 8th. Mm -hmm. And I want to, I want to hear that every Sunday between now and March 8th, that phone call was made or that video visit was, was made. Okay. Yes, All right. Uh, I, I do have a question uh, with uh, the uh, the hearings because uh, norm, uh, normally around 9 a.m. I'm in the office if there's a way we can get our our situation called first that way after uh, we do it on the 8th I, it could be around 9 a.m. have our case called first that way we can knock it out of the park and I, then I can continue about work I know that's a Wednesday correct that's a Wednesday. Um, remind me on March 8th when we're back here uh, to call you first and I will do that. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Ms. Carricker, will that work for you? Yes, Your Honor. That's fine. Okay, good. All right. Let's, let's uh, take that step between now and March 8th. Uh, come back then, evaluate things, and we'll see what step we take after that, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Thank All you, right. Your Honor. Yeah. Thank you, Your Thank Honor. You. Bye. Thank you.